What's going on, everyone? Hope you're having a great day. It's Friday night. I don't want to keep you long. I will get right to the point with some of my little updates here about the 2020 Toyota Tundra, which is the upcoming model year. This is not the redesigned Tundra. Once again, this is not the redesigned Tundra. That will be 2022. This is just a slight refresh they're doing. Um, back at the Chicago Auto Show, they started to announce a couple things here and there that would be changing, um, or they're adding to the Tundra. But I went ahead and tried to get some confirmation on what is actually changing because there were still a lot of questions back then uh, at the Chicago Auto Show because there was nothing set in stone for what trims were getting what. Well, I hopefully have a few answers here uh, that will point us in the right direction. There will be plenty more updates to come. So this is just something for now. But anyway, let me recap everything we've gone over so far already. So for 2020, the TRD Pro will be the Sequoia, Tundra, Tacoma, and 4Runner. And for the first time ever... It will be offered in four colors instead of three colors. White, black, magnetic gray metallic, and army green. Army green is going to be a popular one. Also, push button start with smart key is coming for the 2020 Tundra. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa coming to the 2020 Tundra as well. Um, this is the part where we got a little confused and we weren't really sure uh, what was getting what. So it says here all trims of the Tundra will be getting the eight inch screen. Now it says all trims will be getting the eight inch screen, but I'm not really sure about the SR. Cause right now in the current setup, the SR actually has a 6.1 inch screen while the other Tundras SR5 and up have a 7.1. So I'm not really sure yet if the SR will be getting the bigger screen. And last but not least, all 2020 Toyotas, including the Tundra, will be getting Entune 3.0. Now, I used Entune 3.0 in the 2018 Camry I was testing last year. Uh, it's a nice, cleaner look, a little bit quicker, a lot more user-friendly. So hopefully, there will be some good opinions about it out there. So I'm definitely looking forward to Entune 3.0. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we're still waiting to hear if all the trims will be the same. Um, I don't think there'll be anything crazy. I think you'll still see 1794 Platinum. SR5 Limited, SR, TRD Pro. Um, I don't think they're going to do anything major. I think the next major change you will see is obviously the redesign, which we're hearing is 2022 for now. Uh, but right now, you know what? 2020, they're taking care of little things. In yesterday's video, I said some of the things that I felt like could make the Platinum even better of a truck for me. I already love the Platinum. Push button start. You guys always talk about Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so that's a big thing. 8-inch screen, a little bit bigger of a screen is going to be cool. So they're headed in the right direction. I know a lot of you guys, including me, we want to see some major updates, and it is coming. But for now, while they're working on that fantastic new redesigned Tundra for 2022, uh, this is something for now. It's better than just sitting dormant. Until 2022, at least we're going to get push button start. And like I said again in yesterday's video, I like push button start. I know a lot of you guys out there like the key, but just with all these Toyotas that I test all the time, 90% of them have the push button start, and I actually really enjoy it. It is a lot easier. It is a lot simple. I know it's not hard to take a key and put it in the ignition, but hopping in and out of the vehicle, um, it just seems a lot smoother. So it is 2019, and push button is the future. Or some will say that aren't fans of the Tundra. Push button's been around forever. But for us... Push button is the future. But yeah, so this is what we got right now. So I'm looking forward to a few of these changes. And I want to know from you guys. This is the whole point of the video right here. With these changes that we are talking about right now, with everything we have right now, is 2020 uh, Toyota Tundra something that you plan on buying? I know a lot of you out there are asking yourself, do I do a 2019 Tundra or do I wait for 2020? Well, this is what we got so far on what's coming. I wouldn't expect anything more major. So let me hear below. What do you think? 2019 or 2020? Twitter and Instagram at Tundra Dude 34, Tundra Dude 34 gmail.com. You guys have a great day.